So you lied on a job interview telling them that you knew how to use After Effects. You've watched hundreds of YouTube tutorials to get you through and make up for all your lying. And you're just about to finish off your very first video in After Effects to show your new boss. Except you don't know how to do it. Now you're hiding in the bathroom watching this video as your new boss is ready to see your video in five minutes time. And don't worry, we've all been there before. I'm going to show you how it's done and even give you some time to spare. So there are two ways to do this in After Effects. I'm going to show you the first one and then the one that I use afterwards. So firstly, before you do anything, just make sure that your work area is selected to the correct length by dragging this bar over here. The first way to do it is go to File, down to Export, and then Add to Render Queue. So once I click on that, my videos will pop up. It's going to layer your videos with the latest one coming up at the bottom. So that is this one that I've done down here. So you have three options when it comes to rendering. First one as we click on the render settings they should be set to best quality but make sure that you do set it to best resolution keep to full this will match the resolution of your video obviously if you have a 4k video that size is going to change and i wouldn't change anything else on here you can change your frame rate if you like but this is all you're going to need make sure it's set to best and full click ok then come down to the output module over here and at this one you want to make sure that the format which should be set to quicktime is on quicktime make sure that stays in none your channel is set to rgb you do have options to resize here and crop if you want and play with your audio settings but I'm going to leave it as is. What you might want to do is look at your format options by clicking this button and make sure that it's set to Apple ProRes 422. This is going to give you the best quality and you click OK. And then the last thing that you do is you click on the output to you select that and that's going to ask you where you want to save your file to. I'll just put it on my desktop and say save. It's going to save it as a MOV file because it is QuickTime format and then all we do is click render. The, the problem with this is when I hit render I can't select any of my tabs to go and do some work on. I'm basically stuck and have to wait for this thing to fully render before I can get back into work. So I don't like to use this option. Also, mob files usually put out really big file sizes. So I use the other method, which I'll show you right now. So we go back to our file, click on it, go to file, export, and add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. What that's gonna do, it's gonna open up your file and give you pretty much the same options. You have a few drop downs here. So this one, I can select the H.264 codec, which is probably gonna be the best. Over here, you have some options in terms of outputting your resolution. When it comes to this, I'm, I usually match my resolution. So if I've made an HD video, I'll go down to the YouTube ones and I'll select full HD 1080p YouTube as my option. And if you click on this final one, it'll ask you where you want to save the video. So I'm going to save it to my desktop and click save. You just click this little play button and what it's going to do, it's going to render your video in the background. And the nice thing about this is now I can go back to After Effects and still work on other videos while my videos are rendering in the background. So that's a pretty simple method, but if you do have a video that has a transparent background that you want to render and make sure that the video keeps its transparency, there is a different way to do it. And I've got a quick video on how to do that, which you can watch over there.